Was Jimmy Carter right to put solar panels on the roof of the White House? Our recently deceased 39th president was famous for being the first person to put renewable energy on the roof of the White House. This was seen as a huge step forward for environmentalism in America. It signaled a move away from fossil fuels and towards a more sustainable future, with the President of the United States leading by example. Ah, but here's what a lot of people forget. The solar panels that Jimmy put on the roof were not the solar panels that most people think of today. A modern solar panel is made up of thousands of photovoltaic cells, layers of silicon with opposite charges that absorb the sunlight and convert that energy directly into current. This technology is in virtually every solar panel that you or I have ever seen. From small devices like solar-powered calculators, all the way up to city-sized power stations and even the solar panels on spacecraft. Photovoltaic cells directly produce electricity. But the ones in the White House didn't generate a single volt. Because these weren't power-producing solar panels, they were water heating panels. The devices that President Carter put on the roof of the White House had an endless loop of tubing that connected the roof to the White House kitchen. Water pumped through the tubing would absorb the heat in the panels up on the roof and give a limited supply of hot water to the cooking staff. You know how when you have your garden hose that's been left out in the sun, you first turn on the water and the water comes out warm for about 30 seconds? It is basically that. Ronald Reagan famously took those solar panels off the roof as soon as he came into office, which a lot of people interpreted as his administration moving away from clean energy. But the simple fact of the matter is that Carter's panels were never a long-term sustainable solution and did not contribute a single kilowatt hour to the White House's carbon footprint. It may, however, have been used to boil some noodles or maybe make some tea or coffee. Rest in peace, Jimmy Carter.